Yo, Vizant here. So Pokemon Night is dropping July 21st, uh, which is Wednesday. So hopefully it comes out Tuesday night around midnight Eastern time. Uh, I will be streaming it on Tuesday when it drops. So catch it that on twitch.tv slash Vizante. But nonetheless, I did update some infographics and uh, let's get to it. All right, so this is the infographic for all the Pokemon and the role. These are what the game categorized them as, okay? So, and I'm gonna go over, um, I guess some like key points and thoughts on the Pokemon I actually played. But here we have Range Attacker, we have Venusaur, Greninja, Pikachu, Alolan Ninetales, Cinderace, and Cramorant. Uh, Greninja is what I played when I first started. He seems like more of a mix of a range and melee, but he does have like the, the long range, which is the water shurikens. But if you get close, he does the water kunai, which does more damage. So he's kind of a mix, but they categorize him as range. <laughs> then I have Cinderace, he's, he's range. He just he has the soccer ball that shoots, right? It's totally range. N nothing less stuff to say. So we have melee speedster, Gengar, Absol, Zero Aura, which is the new Pokemon they announced, and then Talonflame. I haven't played any of these, so I can't say for sure. But for male all-rounder, we have Charizard, Garchomp, Monchamp, and Lucario. I do main Monchamp and Lucario because they're fighting Pokemon. Monchamp is like a kind of a tank mix with like a bruiser, so he's an all-rounder. Lucario is like a speedster and a bruiser because he's kind of all-rounder. <laughs> they could go Lucario can go like in and out or he can do like damage. He's pretty quick too, um, but he's not too quick, so he's not really a speedster. Uh, yeah, and then Charizard. I can understand people get confused because he does have a fire breath, but that's like more of a mid range, not like a full range kind of thing. And Charizard's physical melee attacks are, I feel like they're a lot stronger, like the Fire Punch and Flare Bliss are a lot stronger than their range counterparts. And his Unite move is a melee move, by the way, uh, a seismic toss. So that, I guess that's why they put him there. So melee support, we have Wigglytuff and Mr. Mime. I know a lot of websites have Wigglytuff as a range supporter, but the Twitter and the, the, when I was playing, I was like, why is it not a melee supporter? But the Twitter for Pokemon Unite, the official Pokemon Unite, did say it's a melee supporter, so I'm glad they corrected that there. Um, yeah, even the official Pokemon Unite website had it as a range supporter. It's kind of weird. Uh, and then for range supporter, we have Eldegoss. So yeah, I don't really play supporter really, so I can't really say for sure. Uh, melee defender, we have Snorlax and Crustle. I haven't played these. Range defender, Slowbro. I played once. He does Water Gun and he does the Hydro Pump, so it's kind of a range. I kind of understand. <laughs> but yeah, that's all the Pokemon and the roles. Hopefully, you guys understand that. And well, let's get to the items. If you haven't seen my health item tutorial, I do have the stats and stuff on items there, so you can feel free to check that out. It's kind of building upon that and also correcting some of the stuff. Uh, I did move some stuff around for Pokemon Unite, like the offensive, defense, offensive, defense, or the three sections I talked about. And uh, I do want to correct that Buddy Barrier got a buff from 400 to 600. Uh, the site that I was watching had like outdated data. So I want to make that, make that clear. And I, here is the chart of all the held items and I did move some things around if you haven't noticed and I'll explain why I moved them. All right, so we got the offensive items, scope lens, critical percent, critical damage, straightforward. We have the shell belt, which used to be offensive defense, but now I moved it to offense because even if you want to get that HP gain, you still have to be offensive to attack to get it and you have to land it. Um, but yeah, I get special attack, get move cooldown, so it kind of depends on the Pokemon. But that is the way it is. Most of it is kind of offensive. And then we have the Wise Glasses, which give you flat special attack and percentage special attack. Then we got the Muscle Band, that gives you attack and basic attack speed. Kind of straightforward. Those are why they're in the offense. And here's Energy Amplifier. I moved it. It used to be in the middle, but I moved it out because it actually is one of the parts gives you unite damage and that's like more of an offensive thing and then the energy gain is for getting your unite moves faster with the aos that's what they're called <laughs> instead of energy and then the move cooldown kind of depends on the pokemon but yeah it's kind of that's why i moved it there because of all that unite damage stuff and everything kind of built around that then we have the special attack specs which gives you a special attack 
and special attack permanently when you score a goal. Straightforward. And then the fierce dumbbells, which is pretty much the same thing as special attack, but it's attack instead, right? So you get attack, and then when you score a goal, you get a permanent buff on your attack. So those are the defensive items. Let's go to the defensive items, and then we'll make our way to the middle. We have the Rocky Helmet, which reflects damage when you get hit. It's more like an AoE splash when you get hit. And you get HP and defense with that. So it's still pretty defensive. You want to get hit and stuff like that, and then things happen, or you know it gives you HP and defense, so that's why it's defensive. Uh, Buddy ba Barrier. When you get a sh you get a shield when you use a unite move for you and your lowest HP ally, and you also get some HP. Shields, <laughs> score score shield also gives you shield when you're scoring and gives you HP. So that's kind of like a defense. Of course, you kind of argue that you you need to get beaten in the goal, um, and then score and kind of hit and run kind of thing. Like you go score and then you run away. But if you think about it that way, um, you kind of like expecting to get hit when you're doing that you're like you just want to get in there and give you the shield so you kind of just score and then you get that quick score it gives you hp and the shield based on your hp so i feel like it's more of a defensive thing than anything and then we have the focus band which gives you enter which means if you were to get hit and you're about to faint you like you kind of live and then you get i guess the, the, the cooldown period for that um so then you can like get away and stuff like that. It gives you defense and special defense as well. We got leftovers, pretty defensive there, give you HP, HP recovery. Then we got special vests, give you a shield outside of combat, but it's only against special attacks and then HP. And then it gives you also on top of that special defense. So it's kind of like a special attack, anti-special attack kind of item. Then we have the AO's cookie, which is pretty much the same as the special attack specs and the fierce dumbbells, except it's for HP. You get HP, and then when you score a goal, you get a permanent buff to HP. So that's the defensive items. Now we got the off offensive defensive items. Um, we have the float stone, movement speed. It gives you movement speed. A lot of movement speed outside of combat, and then you get the a regular movement speed while in and outside of combat, and it gives you extra attack. Um, the movement speed is actually pretty good in like MOBAs in general. So you like you want to get in to help your teammate. You want to go flank. You want to run away. Go heal. So it depends how you want to play it. So it could be offensive and defensive. Same thing with experience share. You can actually make a usually you put that on support because it gives you a passive exp. You don't get exp for KOs for your teammates, and it gives you movement speed, which is what I mentioned, pretty staple, and it gives you HP. But it, it allows your, you can play as, mostly the time you want to put on support. And the support, you can go offensive or defensive. You can play either or for support. So it's up to you how you want to play. So it's kind of why is in the middle. But yeah, those are the health items. Hopefully, if you have any questions, feel free to post comments or go into my Twitch chat and ask me or join the Discord. Uh, I'm pretty active on that. And hopefully you find this enjoyable. Uh, I'll probably have the link to the infographics down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, find it informative. And I do main Lucario, Monchamp, and I'm going to aim for Cinder Ace and Zero Aura. So hopefully you guys join in on some matches when I'm live. And I'll see you guys next time. Later days.